Hello my friends, I'm Rich Larson and I'm the RC Tire Guy. Today we've got an overlooked bad habit I see a lot of riders make. The sooner you can correct this simple mistake, the quicker you'll have complete control over your machine. Today we're talking learning to cover your front brake. It's surprising how often I see riders in the habit of full grip on the throttle then reaching for the front brake when they need it. Now I personally cover the front brake 100% of the time. I'd say the majority cover their front brake most of the time. I'm definitely not saying you need to do this. I've seen riders who can successfully modulate between full grip and one finger on the front brake. Although there is a caveat I have to mention, and that's what this episode is about. The top riders that do move back and forth from front brake to full grip also have the ability to use both at the same time. This is extremely important to understand. I often teach more beginner riders that don't have the ability to modulate both front brake and throttle at the same time. For them, it's one or the other. The ability to use both together is actually insanely important in regards to your overall control of the machine. There are so many examples as to when and where I use both together, and we'll get into those later. However, first, because I believe this is so important, and the majority of people that watch YouTube videos don't watch the whole video, I want you to hear it now. Break the habit of only being able to do one or the other. Try and get used to modulating the throttle at the same time as the front brake. It sounds so simple and almost unnecessary, but truly your progression depends on it. Now that I said that, here is the why. Your front brake is an additional form of control. You can use your brakes as almost a throttle tamer. Just like I've mentioned before, your throttle is a light switch putting power directly from your piston to your rear tire. We use the clutch as almost a dimmer to that light switch. The clutch is how we set the mood. Well, we can add another form of control on top of throttle and clutch together. We can actually use the brakes to tame the power and widen our area of control. I actually constantly use both front and rear brakes to find complete control over my machine. Whether that be dragging the rear brake during a slow wheelie or using my front brake to assist with my suspension, compression, and rebound, this additional level of control helps me find efficiency in my riding. The main point here is adding your brakes into the equation, to me, can kind of be compared to the components of your suspension. Adjusting rebound, compression, preload, spring rate, even oil level and viscosity, giving you the ability to trim out and fine tune your desired performance. Multiple levels of control simply equal more control. I have a few drills that are great for practicing using both front brake and throttle at the same time. Again, we want to be completely comfortable with modulating the throttle while having one finger slightly engaged on the front brake. Starting with an uphill and downhill cone drill. Simply spacing these cones and weaving through from left to right is a great way to dial in getting comfortable using that front brake and throttle together. As we decrease the spacing of each cone, the ability to use both forms of control to maximize our precision is required. The slower we can go, the tighter we can turn. This drill helps us in holding that machine back with the front brake as well as smoothing our engagement of the front brake itself. Again, practicing on both uphill and downhill. Similar to that drill, but changing the goal slightly, we've now sectioned off a square area. Again, we can practice this on flat ground or an incline of any level. We attempt to make as many full lock 180 degree turns as possible in that area. This is a great way to not only practice input of throttle and front brake at the same time, but a great drill for increasing throttle and clutch control as well as movement of body position. The further we can tip the bike from right to left, the sharper we can turn and thus the more turns we can make. As the bike tips, notice my body stays in the center point for counteraction and balance. The smoother we can be with the front brake, the more control we will have. One mention for both these drills is as we practice on an uphill slant, the requirement of using both front brakes and throttle becomes more applicable. So uphill is a great way to get comfortable with that front brake and throttle ability. Another great drill for getting comfortable with the front 
front brake and throttle together is using the front brake to find additional rebound as we learn to lift the front tire with efficiency. You can check out our full breakdown on this technique right here. This is actually the technique I use for double blips. Getting that front tire into the air with efficiency is easily found with the addition of the front brake. I actually increase the throttle with the clutch engaged and front brake in simultaneously as my body moves forward to compress the front suspension. Then hips back with the rebound and release of the clutch and front brake again simultaneously to initiate that front tire lift. The addition of the front brake allows me to hit obstacles slower, safer, and more controlled. I'm sure you've all seen or possibly experienced hitting a log or ledge at higher speed, and usually the results are a bit sketchy. Being comfortable using everything together on your machine is imperative for your efficiency. Of course, I use the front brake to master my control during double blips, but I also use it in so many other situations. The list is actually incredibly long, and it's not just specific to hard enduro situations. I often use my front brake to assist my front tire in dropping into a rut on a turn track or motocross track. This is a great way to find effective traction on the front wheel when low in a rutted corner. Of course, in more technical situations, the list is staggering. The addition of your front brake allows you to ride slower in those technical sections. This actually helps you maintain proper centered body position, keeping me ahead and on top of the bike, not behind it. In technical sections, I often use the addition of the front brake to help me maintain balance and control with my feet on the pegs. The balance point is so small, you need all the control possible to stay in that area. I also use the front brake to set and hold my front tire in one position when getting unstuck or stuffing into a boulder. Holding the front brake and adding the throttle at the same time is required here. It's amazing how often I see riders struggle to keep their front tire on top of an obstacle due to their inability to use both front brake, clutch, and throttle together. Again, one or the other can be a problem. The list goes on, and this video is already too long. The main point here is just because it's slightly uncomfortable now, doesn't mean it won't be worth it in the end. Often I look back at my bad habits that felt so comfortable in the moment, but now they seem impossible. Looking back, I don't know how I rode any other way. I hope this video inspires you to get out of that comfort zone and try something new that I'm sure you will benefit from. If you're enjoying the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at IRCMoto and my personal Instagram page at RichLarson511. And until next time, keep shredding.